Hey everybody, Facia here with Legacy of Light in conjunction with One Love Wellness Center here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Coming to you today for one of the many 365 days of me sharing from my heart to yours. And um, wanted to share a card from the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck. Um, I did a Kelsey Cross reading and this is the middle and it is who I am right now and I believe some of you may not realize that that's who you are right now and I just felt led to share it so it's the other things besides radiance it means enjoyment fulfillment overflow firmness influence expansion, transmission. Radiance is the constant eternal flow of life that is our birthright. Who we are emanates outward from the light within our being in spite of our personal struggles. Recognizing the beauty of our influence in the world is paramount to our balance and well-being. And when I read that in spite of our personal struggles, it just, you know, grounded me more in the fact that our radiance always exists in the here and now. And so whether we choose or not to perceive it. And it goes on to say, no matter what the state of affairs are today, focus on your radiance and the radiance of others. Allow yourself to be open to the overflow of love everywhere you look. Finding fulfillment while loving others is a skill set that must be cultivated. So it's saying, yeah, it might take a little bit of work. It doesn't just happen. And I believe, you know, that's the beauty of that. It's different than feeling love. It's about choosing to perceive the adoration that exists all around you. When the Radiance card has chosen you, you are being asked to witness love in all forms. And today, um, I was able to do that. I did a session um, with a lady that works at um, our, our center here, One Love Wellness. And she does uh, a light languages and it goes through like each chakra. So each chakra has a different entity spirit god or whatever and you know it's you don't always understand the words but it's at a cellular level it's cellular level healing and some of them you know i just got the the emotion or the feeling of what they were trying to say and you know a couple of the the beings were in english and it was about love and to access it everywhere and that it is everywhere and to you know be the light that i am and I, that is radiance to me because it says no matter what your circumstances are and if you've watched a couple of the previous ones of these I, you know, my circumstances aren't the greatest at the moment, but I can still be radiant and I feel like that will bring about the manifestations of my heart's desire. Because if I place my attention on my radiance, on my love, on my light, that can only manifest that, more of that into my life. And to, you know, as I've said, allow the grieving process and be thankful for where this journey is bringing me. And, you know, I, we did a trade session, so I did a session, you know, with her as well. But it also, you know, helped me to see and to remember to seek 
the answers within myself, to seek the love within myself for myself so that I can share this with you and that you can know that you have the same abilities. We all have access to these things. Um, you know, like our Akashic records or channeling or, you know, abilities to talk to our chakras. And I want everyone to know that they have that ability and as these beings of light it just takes our choice our decision what we want and then you will be guided and sometimes it's leaps and sometimes it's baby steps and sometimes it's doing nothing and just allowing yourself to be where you are so that these healings can take place so that when you move to the next space or the next level or the next whatever you want to call it you do not have that weighing you down because I don't believe you you know we can go on to our next avenue space level whatever if we're weighted down with the past and I am just realizing that a lot of what I was trying to create was trying to take things from my past and make them my future. And I think to create, we have to do it in the now. And we can learn from our past and learn that this pain, this suffering, these places we didn't want to be, these things we didn't want to happen to us, were only there to show us our beauty, to show us what in the now that we can create. And to be able to look at that and say, yes, this happened, but look what I can do because of that. Look how high I can hold my glory, even though all these bad things happened to me. And to me, that seems so much greater. It's so much more powerful to go from that to this, to, to trusting in your radiance than if you had always had everything work out, if everything went your way all the time. How would you know how to appreciate and be grateful for who you are right now? And as I said before, like we are perfect in every moment. We are divinely guided in every moment, whether we are aware of it or not. We are showing ourselves. We have guides. We have a whole armies. We have teams cheering us on at every moment and excited to watch us grow and excited to be part of this human experience, being part of spirit, being part of all of this. And to look back at things, you know, such as being molested at three years old and say, thank you. Thank you, thank you, that I can look at that now and I can let that go and be grateful for breaking that pattern 
in this DNA line that is no longer going to happen. And to be grateful that I chose to have that experience of darkness so that I could have this experience of radiance. Being radiant, no matter what your circumstances are, you are always radiant. You are always glorious. You are always magnificent. You are always one perfectly beautiful masterpiece. And that's what we all are. And we only have to trust in ourselves that our paths are bringing us to this radiance. They are bringing us to our glory. And I think, you know, for my journey over the past year, I, I questioned, is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I thought I was getting mixed, mixed messages on some things, but I wasn't. It was just I had to stop and listen and get my monkey mind out of the way to be like, just because it happened like this before doesn't mean like it's going to happen like that again. I had to let that go and to still my mind and listen to my heart that has been constantly and eternally telling me no matter what I am adored and no matter what each of you is adored eternally adored and I can't stress that enough it doesn't matter what has happened if it's happened to you, if you've done it to somebody, you are still eternally adored and loved beyond anything you can ever imagine. And so today I was told to hold my radiance high, to be that light, to shine that light and to not compromise for anything. And I am sending that message to you all. Be who you are. Be that light. Be whatever your heart is calling you to be. And don't submit or be passive for any reason. So I thank you guys and I'm excited to be sharing this journey with you and I will talk to you tomorrow. Love you. <laughs>